In June this year, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex returned to the UK together for the first time as they joined the celebrations for the Queen's Platinum Jubilee in June. They kept a relatively low profile and were not present on the Buckingham Palace balcony for the trooping the colour RAF flyover, but did attend the Queen's Thanksgiving service at St Paul's Cathedral. Body language Darren Stanton has analysed their appearance then, and while Meghan showed positive signs, Harry felt under pressure and uncomfortable at times during the service. He said, Harry's body language, however, is drastically different to that of Meghan's and we often see a shift in emotion in him when he is in the presence of the public and press. He bows his head, a gesture of anxiousness and his face reddens. At the time, it was his and Meghan's first appearance in the UK since their decision to permanently move to Los Angeles and it's clear Harry was concerned about the scrutiny the couple would face. His body position and gestures while in the spotlight suggested he felt under pressure and uncomfortable at times, despite the royal family appearing to embrace Harry and Meghan's return. He added, Harry wasn't smiling as much as Meghan when pictured out and about and he appeared to lack the same confidence Meghan was happy to portray. Much more reserved, Harry's appearance suggested he was experiencing a very different internal emotion to that of happiness. He often looked to Meghan for reassurance, a common occurrence we have seen with the couple while attending public engagements. It will be interesting to see whether Harry feels more at ease when he returns to the UK next month, following the warm reception he received both from fellow royals and the British public in June or whether he still has worries about being back on home soil. Meghan, however, plays a huge part in boosting his confidence and will no doubt be on hand to offer a supporting hand to Harry at times when his nerves may get the better of him. Oh, my God.